Hey guys, welcome to TruckerTrek.com. I wanted to go over something with you guys. Uh, still here in the shop, I'm trying to shoot a few videos without having the, I just walked through a cobweb. You ever walked through a cobweb? I don't know how I got in here, but it's in here. It's all over me. Anyway, I wanted to shoot a quick video about uh, a snow plow without everybody in here. Cause when I got the peanut gallery in here, they're always hollering and yelling at me. It's kind of like, I would assume being in prison, never been in prison, but like being on the prison yard and you're trying to talk and everybody's yelling at you. Just assuming, I don't know. So we have a brand new plow install that Joey just actually just got done with. Now this is an EX85 two. EX being extreme duty. That means the plow's a little bit taller uh, than an HD model. And then that also means it's the new series two, which is the updated version. And then it's eight and a half foot by the 85. So that tells you a little bit about it. Uh, it's got the feet on the side, which I absolutely can't stand. Uh, but it does have a few upgraded things. And what I want to talk to you about is a couple things up here at the top. Now, back in the day, triple play, when we used to put on snow plows, and I'm going to walk over here and look at another plow with a different kind of lights. Uh, the halogen light was standard on the buyer's snow plows. Good light. It, it does really good. Uh, uh, by the way, these aren't tightened up. They're just sitting on here. This halogen light used to set up here on a bar. It didn't have this crossbar, and uh, it also didn't come with a shot kit. So you can see that shot kit. So what would happen is, I, I, I swear to God, I've walked through another cobweb. It's middle of winter. I don't know where these cobwebs are coming from. Maybe maybe somebody left it as like a, like a booby trap for me. I don't know. Anyway, so these lights used to break a lot. And I'm gonna tell you something, it was always the left-hand side because we would always have a bunch of rights left over at the end of the year, we'd have no lefts. And what that was when that shock went in there and you didn't have your tension set just right, that thing would pop back and it would guillotine off those lights. Now things that helped was the shock kit and then the crossbar. Uh, those things right there helped out a tremendous amount to take a lot of the shock out. Let's go back over here. So back over to the EX85 two. Now this one has actually got the brand new LED lights from Byers Products. Very nice. I mean, uh, it's, it's still a plastic housing, uh, but they're very nice lights. Now let's talk about problems with LED lights. Now we learned this a long time ago. LED lights really aren't that new on snow plows. LED doesn't produce enough heat. It won't freeze up. So going down the road, if this didn't have a heater in it, which it does, if it did not have a heater in here, it would just freeze over. Those over there, that halogen light produces heat, so it's gonna melt itself. So this actually has a fan in it, and it has a little temperature control in it, and as it gets colder, I, I, don't, I ain't gonna sit there and blow smoke up your butt saying I know exactly the temperature it's gonna kick on at. This little fan in here is gonna kick on, it's gonna warm, it's gonna circulate, and it's gonna keep the light from freezing up. The only problem with that is, it's just more crap to break or go wrong, I, I, just to me, I, I don't know. But it's super bright, so you, you gotta think, well, I'm gonna have a lot more headlight there, but I'm also gonna have something else to deal with down the road, I just, it's just the way it is. But super bright, super awesome lights. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and turn this truck on and flip the lights on and we can take a look at it. Now, these haven't been out that long to me, so I can't sit here and say they're bulletproof or anything like that, but with the crossbar being here and the shock kit being on this plow, um, that's going to help out a bunch. I'll tell you something else with your tension. If you get a business card and you stick in between these ribs, say down around the middle, that's the correct tension. So a business card should just barely go in there. Just slide in between these and uh, uh, you can adjust this up and down right here with the, with the bolt. Now, they used to be stainless steel, by the way, and there's a recall on that. They've, they've, what, what the people would do is put an impact on here, run it down uh, in stainless, and stainless would gald. And so it would, the, the nut would get stuck to the bolt. I can't tell you how many of those we did. It was freaking insane. We, we did a bunch of those the wrong way. So anyway, so tension, shock kit, crossbar will hopefully save your lights. Now, 
I don't have a halogen set of lights hooked up, but let's hook up these lights right here. Let's turn this bad boy on. Okay. I actually don't have to start the truck because the truck knows, or the plow knows, when the truck's hooked up. So right here is actually the marker lights, and then we'll go one step further, further here in just a second, and we'll go ahead and turn on the headlights. So the marker lights are on. You, you know, your insides are markers. These are gonna be your turning signal and marker. But I'm gonna tell you what, guys, just look at how bright. I mean, just look how bright those are, okay? Let's go ahead and go to that next step and go ahead and turn the lights on. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit blinded. Blinded by the light. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start this puppy. I'm sorry, I'm trying to up my game on my video quality. I feel like I'm shaking you guys up a lot, but I gotta get used to this. You know what I'm saying? I like doing YouTube videos. I like doing videos where I can get things off my chest, say crazy stuff to people. Okay, hang on. We're starting this bad boy up. I'm gonna be honest with you, she didn't turn over like a champ there. It didn't sound like it was gonna start. So anyway, when the truck is started, the plow knows to take over, okay? The way the new ones are. The old ones, you had to have a switch. The new ones actually know to take over. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a pretty kick-ass light, and I swear to God, in that light, there's a cobweb on my, on my camera. It's crazy, I don't know what's up with these spiders. But anyway, awesome lights. So as you notice, the Ford headlights, the factory headlights have kicked themselves off automatically and the plow has taken over. Okay, and that's done through resistance and relays and stuff like that. That's all built in, that's the way it's supposed to be. So when you unplug it, it'll automatically know that and it will kick back on. Now, don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of factory recalls and issues and problems with that. So if you ever do have a problem, you can call us here at truckertrack.com and we'll help you. So. Uh, Anyway, let's shut this thing back down real quick. Turn the lights off. So you guys, hopefully you learned a little bit about an EX85. You learned a little bit about the lights and how they work and uh, how tension's supposed to be set. Uh, again, if you can get a business card in the middle of that, of that spring, that's plenty of tension. Um, they're not designed to lock back. I know we've had guys in the past take a log chain and pull them back and go down the road so they don't trip. That's not what they're designed for. You know, go out there, plow a little bit slowly, keep it down on the speed, and you'll do a great job. So, hey, if you guys haven't tore it up, you're not trying hard enough. We'll see you out there.